hey guys since we have already installed your jenkins and we have configured maven on jenkins we have set up the path and the environment variable for your jdk and maven now it's time for us to set up the web server that is your application and web server both and we are using apache tomcat server for this so this is the environment where we'll be putting all our automation and all our coding work here and this environment will call this as your dev environment so apache tomcat server is your application server so let's see what all we can do here on this tomcat so first thing what we will do is like we have to install jdk here without jdk this won't be working your tomcat server needs jdk so the another thing is like we have to configure your java home config your java and then we have to actually install apache tomcat then you have to configure apache tomcat as service tomcat as service i will be explaining you how we are configuring this as service and the last thing will be to configure your apache tomcat user so it will be config apache tomcat as user so first of all it requires your jdk which we have already covered in your jenkins and maven installation so i'll be skipping this part but i have to actually install your jdk in this machine in this machine where is that yeah tomcat machine so i will show you guys what i have done here if i press history here you will get to know so not this one what i have done i have installed the the software properties dot com just to update your machine then i have installed java 8 and these two versions of jdk we have installed then i check the java version you can check the java version it should tell you it is pointing to jdk 1.8 so now what we have to do we have to be the root user first and then you have to go to your location that is cd etc and here you'll find a file called environments yeah it is there there you have to put your java home version so in case if you don't know what is your java home location so either you can go to your java home location or you can just use this command to update i'll be providing you all set of commands what we have used in this case study so don't worry about this these are just command line syntax and if you have proficiency in linux or uh, any of this command line tool you'll be getting it very easily so this is our jdk what we have installed in this machine exactly this we have to use this in our this file so we go to vi environment and you have to copy this also all right now inside this path you have to declare one more path that is java home path so i am here now declare one more path that is java home and put the location this is the location and save this file so this way you have set the environment variable here we have to set for your bash profile as well now what you can do now we have to add the same thing in your bash root file and we have to source it so to go inside bash root you can just enter this following command you can vi and then you have to put tindle then slash and you have to then mention bash.rc now this is your bash profile so your bash root is your sourced file and whenever bash runs it starts interactively it starts interacting with your command line and whatever there are a lot of variables defined here for this machine so user specific variables are there machine specific variables are there os specific variables are there so whenever you put something here you are making your changes global so what i will do i will just export my java path here so for that go down one second yeah shift g now at the last of your file you can just enter your jdk location what i will do i will just 
export java home here java home and your location of your java home so that is the location we have seen here this thing you have to put all right now what do you have to do you have to export path as a variable okay and then export path and uh, you have to put this line dollar java home and you have to specify the bin location of java then dollar path so we are specifying the variables here and this is setting up your environment variables and we are making this change globally if we are defining in your .rc profile so now save this file well so after uh, putting your all environment variable in bash file what we have done till now we have to just source it again so if you source your path first you have to source your bash okay so the command is same bash so this way you have sourced it it means whatever change you have made in bash file that is bash profile file so your changes have been made globally now you can export everything in order to check your java home you can just click here java and you can just mention the variable name here as java home now if the source has been done successfully and if you have successfully edited the file then it should tell you your java location it is able to tell your location that means your setting of your environment variable is fine so now we have completed this step install jdk and configure in java environment java environment variables now we have to install your apache tomcat while installing apache tomcat there are a lot of things we have to do first we have to create a group and you can choose a group of i mean uh, you have to put specify your group name i'll be using tomcat as my group name we can have your own group name then i have to add this group then i have to add a create a user for that and post that we have to download all those apache uh, tomcat installation we have to go to those file and like we have to go to apache tomcat web website and we have to get the version which is suitable for our ubuntu server and we have to duplicate that so this process takes a lot of time and we have to basically this needs a lot of command line experience so what i'll be doing it i will be writing all those commands here i will pause the video i will write all those commands here and while explaining i will just copy all these commands and will paste on the terminal so i will be just pausing it now i will be resuming once i am done finishing all those writing changes whatever is required for your installation of your apache tomcat server